So you've created your new 1000 Minds account, and now you're wondering where to start. When we log into our account, the first thing we'll see is the home page. Here we have the option to create a new decision or survey on the create a new model, explore video tutorials to guide us through the different pages within 1000 Minds, explore examples and model templates, and easily access any decision or survey that we recently worked on. It's also easy to book a call with one of our experts that can advise you on implementing your project within 1000 Minds and address any questions or difficulties you may have. These expert consultations are included with your 1000 Minds license, and we highly recommend taking advantage of them. Or you can also schedule a call just to get a better idea of the software before making your purchase decision. All of the decisions and surveys that we create in 1000 Minds are stored inside folders called projects, which you can view on the projects page. This is similar to how files on your computer are organized into different folders. If you want to collaborate on a project with others, we can share the folder and enter our colleague's email address and give them permission to edit our project, which means they can change decisions and surveys that are in there or create new ones too, or only give them permission to view it without changing anything. When you invite someone, they'll get an email to let them know. And if they don't have a 1000 Minds account yet, It'll invite them to sign up. Let's click on a folder to view the items inside. There are a couple things we can do with these items by clicking on the three dots on the bottom right corner of a model. We can rename it, move the item to a different project folder, copy it as a decision or survey, or create a new revision and view past revisions. Anytime we want to delete an item, we can do so by clicking delete. This won't permanently delete the item. I'll just send it to our deleted items. And we can restore it at any time. Keep in mind that if you delete a shared item, then it will be deleted for everyone that the item was shared with. So in the case of projects, if you want to remove a shared project, but don't want to delete it for everyone, you can always just unshare it with yourself. Before we create a new model, it's good to get a better idea of how we can use 1000 Minds for different applications. We can access over 100 examples, either via the Examples tab at the top or through the home page. We can browse examples by category on the left hand side. Or we can enter a search term to view relevant examples. This seems like an interesting example. Let's have a closer look by clicking the expand button. Here we can preview the different components of this model, such as the criteria, costs and other considerations and alternatives, as well as get an idea of what the trade-off questions will look like that'll be used to elicit the decision maker and survey participants preferences regarding the importance of the criteria and levels. We can play around more with this model and adapt it to our needs by clicking use example specifying which project folder to store it in, and whether we want to use it for decision-making or serving purposes. We'll go over the difference between a decision and survey as we create a new model from scratch. So let's do that now by going back to the home page. There are two main types of models that you can create, decisions or surveys. A decision is used for prioritizing or choosing between alternatives, and it can be done either alone or with a group. If more than one person is involved, then the participants can make trade-offs together through voting, which facilitates discussion and consensus. A survey, on the other hand, is sent out to participants to complete individually in their own time, and there's no discussion component involved. So for example, for market research or similar types of applications where participants wouldn't be talking to each other while answering questions, you'll probably want to use a survey, or specifically a preferences survey. So there are four types of surveys that you can use to gather people's preferences through making trade-offs similar to a decision, to gather opinions on categorizations, to rank alternatives intuitively in order to examine variability and judgment, and to rescale two decision models to a common scale. All of these surveys can also be used to supplement decision-making. Whichever type of survey or decision model we choose, we have to give it a name and store it in a project folder.
we can start a model either from scratch or have AI assist us in drafting criteria and alternatives. We have a separate video that walks you through the AI assistant in our tutorial library. So for now, let's go ahead with creating a model from scratch. And now we can get started on our decision or survey.